guys and welcome back to my channel oh my gosh it feels so weird to be vlogging again <laughs> honestly i didn't think i was ready to come back but i thought you know what candy so there's never going to be a right time so let's just get back as i said guys i did upload two videos of an update of where i was um decided to remove them just because i don't know i just i felt like it the last vlog was so personal and i just felt like who saw it, saw it. Who didn't, I'm sorry, you missed out. But yeah, y'all know where I've been. Um, as I said, I keep saying I'm going to show you my house and I don't. And it's because it's not complete. But I thought, you know what, in this vlog, I'm going to show you bits and pieces of what I've done. Because today I'm actually getting some new radiators installed. So I will show you kind of like my hallway. Now, <laughs> you're going to have to watch the first renovation video to see what it was kind of like before. Because I don't know if I still have pictures. If I do, I'll insert it now. But I'll show you my hallway. Now, guys, it is not finished. <laughs> I still have to, like, change the doors. For anybody who wants to panel, this is the reality of paneling when you remove it. This is what they don't show you. It's not hard work, but it's work, as in, like, it's patience. I've removed paneling and I started the peeling journey as you know and it just basically took me here um, I do need to pick this up and hoover but you know as I said with my tools a butter knife yes guys I know it looks crazy right now on camera but it's still drying I have repaired my wall with its first coat i didn't even use filler i just literally used that thing and then tomorrow i'm gonna do the whole wall because i can't believe how amazing this stuff is now guys obviously you guys saw what it was like yesterday you saw the damaged wall i've put the first layer of um true true prep i think that's how you pronounce it on the wall and i am seriously impressed like look at that you would think it's the wall, but it's that smoother. Now, obviously, I'm going to use... I've got a hand sander. I'm not kidding. Like, I've done majority. Like, I'm in a I'm fucking standstorm. This carpet is going to be filthy. I'm tempted to rip it up, but I don't want my house to be too construction-y. So, I'm going to give this a clean. I have sanded everything. It's silky smooth. Um, the only thing I have to do is go over... Do the top because it's a little bit um it's drying at the top because I went over a bit this morning and um <laughs> I'm struggling to breathe. Guys, as you saw before, my hallway used to have paneling that was like half the wall. Um obviously I took that down plastered and I did this paneling style, which I absolutely love. Um I also love this colour, which is an actual um B and Q paint from Good Home called Cancun. It's the perfect beigey, nudey, neutral tone. I just feel like it just took my space and just made it top tier. Um, I also painted my banner stand. Um, I still have to clean up there because, as I said, guys, I'm not finished. Um, but, yeah, I painted my banner stand all the way up black, which really does make the difference. Um, and then, as I said, I had carpet, but because I had sanded so much and so much dust got on the floor, I decided to lay a floor in. Now, fun fact, this is actually peel and stick from B&Q. Um, I was so impressed with their Bossa Nova range. Um, I think it was like £18 a pack. But it's so easy to lay for yourself if you're like you know, if you're not even on a budget, if you just want to lay something on your own and you don't want to do too much cutting, it's so good. B uh, and m do do peel and stick as well for, for I think, 14 pack, sorry, 14 pound a pack, but their colours are very limited, whereas with B&Q, you can get all different grains, and I really just love the grain of this floor. It's oak, um, and it's hard, and it feels just exactly like the floor, so, yeah, I'm really impressed with this. Um... So I need to go with this runner. It's the Gabrielle from Dunelm. It's £35. What I love about this rug is it is machine washable. I'm not going to show you my pictures, but I don't think they're very appropriate for YouTube. I'll try and show you one. Um, but yeah, I've got art in frames actually for now. And it actually looks really good. 
um, yeah, pictures definitely make a difference. Um, I also decided to get rid of my coat rack that was hanging there and put this mirror that I got from the range. I absolutely adore this mirror and fun fact it was only 29.99 i just think it goes perfectly with the color um and it just elevates the space i really wanted to mirror here because i know once i get my kitchen done i wanted the light to reflect because i don't have light or a window in my hallway so i got this um got this funky kind of coat rack from home sense i love this like you can have it as like a bit of water or you can have it just you know, you can take out the pegs that you need to use. You can put it back up when you finish. I like that. Um, and then I lastly got this picture, which I love from HomeSense. Um, I fell in love with it. I was looking for a picture like this and I walked in there and I saw it and I thought I have to get. And it came in the frame as well. So that was handy um, as well. Um, and then I got this little kind of lantern for my candles, which is stunning uh, from the range. The vase from Matalan and the um, faux flowers are a mix from Wilco and Primani. Um, but yeah, I'm just really happy with how it came back. And then this is from the range as well. It's like a wicker uh, sea grass basket, sorry. But I love it. I absolutely love it. And if you remember what it was before, you'll know that it's just completely opened up the space. So guys, that was the part one of the renovations reveal. Um, as I said, guys, I'm really sorry it took me so long. I've got so much footage that I'm having to go through because I've been filming for three months, even though I haven't been on YouTube. But I hope you enjoyed part one. I will, in the second reveal, show you everything once it's complete because I don't want to make it too lengthy and drag it on. Like, But as I said, my doors and my lighting needs to go up and... I've just got a lot still going on and I've got to finish it off, but I love it and I'm 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 really loving the fact that I took this challenge on. This vlog too lengthy, so I'm gonna love you and leave you. I will have another vlog later on this week, which is just kind of what I'm doing in the week. Um but until then I'll see you then. Bye.